Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. We're working on the 3D part again in this case. I have done some serious rigging and I finally managed to rig the clothing that I always wanted to. So here we go. Um, first is setting up the face groups. This means that you divide whatever you have, in this case a very simple uh, designed clothing, to have face groups. Most of these are set up by the program. So you saw at the beginning that I um, made the or that, that I rigged the clothing to Genesis 2 in a very basic way. There, there, there's a, a function in the in Jazz Studio that makes that does this for you. What I'm doing now is I'm subdividing this uh, clothing into further um, into further parts. Um, I've chosen to do very simple parts, as you can see. Um, there's a front and a back, and each gets three sections, which actually isn't enough. So I think um, if I would uh, do this for real, I would do six sections each front and back and uh, divide them into into left and right so basically 12 sections on the front and 12 12 sections on the back so you can subdivide the whole thing further and make it look more natural more realistic but uh, this was um, this was basically a trial basically seeing can I do this can I not do this and so I basically just played around um, there's different ways to grab all this stuff and um, I used a mix of marquee uh, a Selection which is basically drag and everything in your uh, rectangle is um, selected as well as um, a, s a simple selection and, and just adding a simple a single parts as you can see here um, there's an actual way, a, a bit easier way to do this because you can uh, hide the area that you don't want to select, which is what I'm doing later on. This is something I had, I actually tried out in this case, and it worked. Um, and also, I had to grab the uh, sides of this um, in single pieces because there were always stuff missing at the beginning. Um, yeah, so uh, the first thing is actually uh, really making these faces. You, you need those later on. And as you can see right now, I'm, I'm, um, I'm locking out all the faces that I don't need. So basically I just make them invisible. They're still there, they're just invisible. And this makes um, adding the faces a lot easier. So here we are. Um, I made all the faces, I made a little mistake and, and deleted a face I didn't want to delete, so I had to reinstall this, but this is actually something I could fix later on, so this is uh, not a problem if this happens to you. Next up, we are removing all the bones that we don't bond. And here I made a mistake, which I will show you. Um, first is you uh, choose the joint editor tool. Um, and now this is all the uh, all the bones that Genesis 2 has, and since we um, um, since we used the dress and just uh, put it on Genesis 2 female without any further instructions for 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 the uh, software, um, it just added all the bones that Genesis 2 has. So we have to remove all the bones we don't need, like legs, leg bones, um, and arm bones and neck which I'm doing right now, and here's something that didn't work. You can't um, choose multiple uh, and, and delete, you have to delete all of them single-handedly. And what I did right there is I accidentally clicked um, on the wrong bone. I clicked in the big uh, in the big view screen and selected Genesis 2 without noticing, which uh, will come to haunt me later. Um, always, always go by the scene tab and select the bones from there. It's way easier. Next is we're setting up the bones we need. As I said before, three on the front, three on the back. It's not enough, but um, for this first trial, uh, for this first test, it was absolutely fine. Just to see how it works and, and um, if it works and if I can make this uh, work. 
So this is actually me trying this out. Um, after, uh, yeah, um, if you've seen it, I have done, uh, I've tried this before and failed, and this time I actually succeeded in this. Yeah. Um, next is we place all the bones. This is what I'm doing right here. Um, I have to place the bones correctly over the mesh that I'm uh, working with, over the asset. And um, you can actually, well, actually what I'm also doing is I'm uh, adding the faces to the bone. So I select the bone and then uh, you can see it in the top right corner that I select the correct face and um, Death Studio shows you the, the edges of the face you have selected so you can uh, fine-tune the bones to uh, this when you um, add the faces. So it's probably easier to just select the bone, add the face and then set up the bone to the um, to the now marked uh, area. This is probably um, a bit simpler but yeah I didn't do that um, because I, as I said I was still trying everything out. Next I'm going to have a little posing test. Obviously it, it shouldn't pose right now, it shouldn't deform right now if I use, the, if I mm, change or if I switch up the bones. So I selected one bone, I tried to uh, pose it and nothing happened. Um, the deformity on the top is, is just something that you will have to deal with if you, if you do this yourself. This is just something that happens. I don't know. It's because you screw uh, with, with the rigging and this is basically what it does. Next up we're doing the weight mapping. Um, as you can see I'm checking out the bulge maps. Uh, this is basically what, what moves when I morph the um, underlying figure. So if I morph Genesis 2, the clothing morphs with it. And in this case I let I leave them in. I leave in the bulge maps because I want the clothing to morph with the figure. So um, yeah. It's really simple. You you say select uh, set faces to uh, the to the bones, fill the bone selection group, and then um, the weight mapping is automatically done for you. Uh, next is a bit of cleanup, as you can see, and saving. And now I'm showing you the broken Genesis 2. As you can see, um, yeah, I deleted some bones, and as a result, it's broken. Um, I'm doing a first posing test, so basically I'm, I'm done with with um, with the rigging. The rigging is done, I'm, I'm finished with this, I'm just um, trying a little bit of posing and as you can see um, now it's working, the uh, clothing is working just fine, I can pose it, it, it looks a bit weird because I don't have enough bones in it, so um, as you can see um, more bones may mean more detail, mean more natural looking clothing effects. Um, in case you want to do this yourself, use more bones than I did. I will probably do another video where I show exactly how many bones I knew, didn't, uh, use and where they are so you have an idea, but um, yeah. Next up is we test the morphs. I'm morphing Genesis 2 and as you can see the clothing is morphing with it as it should. Um, we're going to a bit extreme bit more extreme morphs right now, um, stylized cartoonish figures who uh, um, just have a bit more um, effect. So you can see the clothing morphs with it. Um, there's a bit of a disturbance in there but that's uh, normal, that's what happens. And lastly uh, we will check out if morphing parts of Genesis 2 um, will also morph with the figures. So I chose the breast because this is an obvious uh, choice, it's, it's really easy to see. And as you can see, the closing works just fine. It morphs with the figure. I can adjust everything and it looks really, really okay. Last thing is detail posing. Um, if I pose uh, details of the whole figure, does it work? And yes, it does. So this is successful rigging of a clothing. And this means I got a lot more stuff in my arsenal, which is really, really cool. Um, I've got a lot more options now to um, make clothing. This is something that has bugged me for a long time actually and I'm finally happy to do this. What I'm also looking into is morphing. Um, I've got a pretty good idea how it works so um, you can look forward to a morphing workflow tutorial whatever this is uh, in the next few days. 
uh, in the next few weeks sorry i'm probably not gonna do this over the weekend but um definitely someday soon yeah and that's actually it for today um thanks for watching stay healthy stay safe and see you guys around <laughs>